Hi Cancers, welcome to Miraki the Tribe. My name is Ayushi and if you are a, a subscriber to this channel, thank you for your support and if you are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, <laughs> guys, I was planning to skip the June videos but I'm going to make short videos, uh, short video uh, for everyone uh, because I am busy with other work as well so I just didn't want to skip uh, the entire series. So I'm just gonna do it, but it is not going to be like the typical uh, that I do the 10 card Celtic cross, which most of you have liked so far. So I'm just taking a break from it because it uh, takes a lot of energy from me. And let's see what's coming up for you. By the way, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna focus on your past, present and future energy. I'm also going to talk about what it, what you should stop doing for the month of June, what you, sh you should start doing in the month of June and what you should continue doing in the month of June. Uh, what are your strength, weakness and advice? So this is for, then we are going to look into your blockages and then we'll pull, pull out one advice card. So what are the messages coming in for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising? Past, present, future energies, messages and advice for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of June 2018. Past, present and future energies. Okay, let's begin. Your past energy is the Daughter of Swords. Your current energy is the Tar card. Your future energy is the father of swords. Your overall energy is the death. Death card. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with a Aries. Some of you are here dealing with a air sign person. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. So in past you were um, trying to talk to someone. <coughs> Whatever. <coughs> Excuse me guys. Whatever communication you were trying to have with this person, uh, you wanted to be sweet and nice to this person, but uh, you at the same time you wanted to be very straightforward with this person you, because you wanted to speak your truth. And I'm getting here that uh, it was something about something that was bothering you for a very long time. Uh, so you wanted to have this conversation. I don't know if you had this conversation or you did not have this, like. It can be you uh, wanting to have this conversation or someone around you who, who wanted to have this conversation with you. But I don't think it went well. <coughs> or because of this conversation, currently you are having a tar moment where you have to, like something has come crashing down. Something that you had built with someone or just all by yourself because of someone's criticism or because of someone's uh, opinion or their idea or they imposing their version on you i think someone is also gossiping here for some of you so something that you had built it came crashing down and uh, because of that you feel that um, you have to start from scratch and right now you're feeling very broken because the present energy is the tar card i feel um, i feel you feel that you have had enough and now you cannot let uh, people do these things to you because you are switching from daughter of swords to the father of swords so you are uh, imposing your will upon the will of other people that you are dealing with uh, you are becoming more strong about your own idea about the way you communicate uh, so i am also getting here that um, i feel some of you are painting something uh, i am also getting here that someone is going to open up there is some uh, someone trying to connect with you but they won't be able to connect with you like they are trying to talk to you but I don't think like you are uh, you are doing something which is either you don't want to contact with this like you don't want to connect with this person anymore or you feel that um, you have new things to plant and you feel that uh, like uh, like there was a total disregard for what you had built with uh, this person or uh, like whatever effort you had put in you are very attached to that effort so you are not probably allow uh, you are not taking the apology prob probably or you are not uh, 
so uh, open for uh, connection anymore because you feel that I had invested so much in this and uh, it's better that I uh, do it all by myself instead of uh, depending on you again that sort of that sort of dialogue you are having now in future I see here that uh, like I said you are not getting emotional about anything anymore because you are going through a transformation this is a major arcana also the overall energy is the major arcana which is the death so you feel that um, something which ended for you ended completely like uh, there uh, there is no two way about it like it cannot be uh, reinstated or the, it cannot be uh, <coughs> 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 i'm sorry guys like uh, this cannot be uh, reproduced if if there was some work that you had done uh, it cannot be reproduced so you are feeling hurt about it and you are feeling that like no some of you are dealing with a libra person and some of you are also dealing with a fire sign i feel like it was your dream desire your wish you you feel that uh, some of you separated from someone here because of their harsh communication uh, you are uh, deciding to separate yourself some of you from somebody because you feel it has come like the the cycle has ended and something has completed and now you need to focus on your uh, dreams and visions and on your like you want to plan something you have certain plans so you want to focus on those and you are also protecting whatever you currently have uh, and you are valuing what you have you are even making list of things that you have uh, that you value and you are guarding it very <coughs> actively so i am getting that you want to be to the point uh, you don't want to um, beat around the bush and you're not uh, taking it uh, kindly if people are doing that to you because you you have lost your patience basically i'm getting you it has made you very fierce whatever has happened it has made you very fierce you're very angry as well so in future i see you very logical and uh, cutting with your word defending yourself and defending your idea what is stopping what should the cancer stop doing what should they start doing and what should they continue doing for the for the month of june uh, i'm sorry guys i got a little bit confused i picked up the wrong deck so yeah so what should cancer sun moon rising stop doing what should they start doing and what should they continue doing for the month of june 2018 what are the messages coming in for cancer some of you are enjoying with your friends and you are uh, especially taking care of you you are investing in yourself you are keeping your emotions to yourself and you are enjoying your emotions like you are falling in love with yourself as what i'm getting and uh, i'm getting that you are keeping your energy your emotion your money your uh, time to yourself like you are spending time with yourself or you are uh, you probably have like two more friends that you trust and you will spend time with them otherwise you are not uh, going out too much uh, mingling with lot of people no i don't think you are doing that you are very dissatisfied i'm also getting you are very focused on your money or you are rejecting a earth sign which is taurus libra uh, Taurus Libra. Uh, okay, for some of you there is a Libra because Libra is not a Earth sign, but I said Libra. Taurus Virgo Capricorn, and I'm getting that you want to stay single because uh, someone has offered you some something emotional like something loving, but you wants to stay single. You want to stay single. Uh, you want to spend on yourself. You want to take care of yourself. Uh, I'm also getting that um, you are spending some money on yourself, like. in building yourself or investing in your dreams or uh, just putting your plans into action or just <clears throat> like getting a manicure pedicure or buying stuff for yourself so what should they stop doing and what should they start doing and what should they continue doing in the month of june what should you stop doing okay so this was the card that came earlier it has come up again this is 3 of cups like i said uh, you should stop <laughs> 
like earlier i was saying that you are indulging uh, in yourself you are spending a lot uh, i don't think you have to do that and i'm also getting that um, like don't overspend i'm getting here that don't waste your emotion on people who don't deserve it i'm also getting now that don't spend time with uh, useless people they are just going to waste your time so you have been doing it for a while i think you were trying to help these people but uh, they are feeding on your uh, vulnerabilities they are not uh, that um, like they are not sharing much of their self they are just taking from you what you should uh, start doing is um, ten of cups what you should continue doing is the sun card no not the sun card this is eight of pentacles so uh, what you should uh, start doing is that start finding happiness for yourself start building happiness for yourself start investing in your happiness Uh, uh and if you will work on your money or your finances i think you will uh, make things come to you by the uh, next full moon which is in sagittarius mm -hmm. give me a moment guys yeah so uh, you are working hard in future and you are, you continue to work hard uh in whatever that you are working and uh, you are not getting deviated you want to you are very focused on your money like you know that if you if you if you know that if your finances are in place then uh, there is nothing that will take away anything from you you feel that your emotions has been taken for granted for such a long time that the only thing that uh, gives you stability is not uh, emotions from other person the the, the thing that gives you uh, stability is going to be your finances because emotionally i feel that you feel that you are the person who gives you are not the person who receives so now you have given up on that and uh, bottom of the deck is the high priestess so you know this like you have a deep knowing about this fact below this you have queen of pentacles and below that you have <laughs> i love this whatever is coming here i love this yes you have been through it uh, hard break which is why now you cannot invest in other people because you feel that um uh, a true partnership for you you invested in it you gave it your all um, and you were also some of you were focused on your passions like a hobby or something uh, and um, you are taking a rest i feel now like you are trying to heal yourself and uh you just have a feeling that somehow you need to focus on yourself like uh i'm getting this feeling that uh no matter what if things are going good in your life or things are not going so good in your life even if you are getting a lot of attention from people i'm getting that um you want to just work on yourself like you just don't care like you're like i want emotional fulfillment i know that and i want the family i know that but for some reason i also know that i need my finances to be in place because nobody is going to uh, be consistent with me it's almost like saying that i think uh, i don't know who said this i think lady gaga or someone said that um like you need your career will never never get up and tell you that it's uh, it's going to break up with you or it's not uh, like like your career is never going to get up some day and tell you that they are uh, going to divorce you or something but your partner can any day just get up and make like you know have a change of heart so you want your finances in place so you are working towards that and that is why you uh, you are continue like continuously working on it and you should like you are working hard towards it already you still have to like uh, keep working at it and uh, start a family for some of you it's coming up like you are uh, getting married uh, and uh, you are putting effort in your marriage you are putting effort in your family you are putting effort in your uh, own emotions uh, in trying to fulfill your desires some of you are dealing with a pisces person uh, or someone who just knows a lot or this is you you should trust your intuition in the month of june is what i'm getting here what are the strength and weaknesses for the sign of uh, 
there is new love for some of you uh, in the month of june uh, which is going to be offered so uh, universe is offering you an opportunity to start something new with someone uh, that has caught your attention uh, so it is up to you if you want to give this person a chance uh, strength weakness and advice what are these what is the strength card for um, cancer sun moon rising for the month of june 2018 weakness card for cancer sun moon rising i'm getting for some of you the weakness is that guys wait yes for some of you i'm getting that the weakness is that uh, you are not feeling confident to carry uh, like like carry out certain idea that you have uh, i'm uh, getting that you are not confident about your looks or the way you appear i'm also getting that you are not confident about um, your vision like whatever your dream is you are not confident about it like you feel that you lack you lack you lack you lack like you have that shit going on in your head that you lack something and uh, like you are not uh, skilled enough or you are not talented enough or you are just simply doubting yourself uh, which is uh, not uh, true and you need to uh, be confident that is why i think you are getting that you need to fo be focused on yourself you need to improve uh, your self esteem and you need to work through it like daily every day look in the mirror and tell yourself that you deserve so much more and you have so much talent and once you will start believing it trust me you are going to find that uh, you do have things to offer to the world you do have gifts uh, nobody uh, no one on this earth comes without uh, some gift so you do have something to contribute so find that find out what that is so cancer sun moon rising strength weakness and advice strength weakness advice i love this uh bottom of the deck the hangman so some of you are definitely dealing with the pisces because uh, both the cards that you had for the bottom of the deck you had pisces cards and uh, i think you need to learn something from pisces i'm getting so read upon what pisces are like, pisces pisces people are like you need to read upon them and uh, just try to understand where they come from and how uh, how they are navigating the world that we are living in i'm a pisces so i can tell you a lot but i don't think i'm in a space right now to talk about that but uh, the hangman so you almost feel that um, you don't belong here like on the earth or on this 3d world you feel that working or uh, something monetary uh, takes up uh, like it's not your um, forte like uh, you are good with emotions but when it comes to uh, financial stuff i don't think you are trusting yourself that much your uh, strength is coming up as the 10 uh, of pentacles so i feel that you feel that your family is very important and you feel that your family life or how you can have a good family life is very important to you where everybody is uh, buying what they want everybody is getting uh, whatever they desire and you want to take care of your kids some of you you want to have a very abundant prosperous family life that is coming up as your strength either you are provider for this family or you are part of such a family which is doing so well but your weakness is that you are uh, when it comes to your single life or you being alone just managing your own finances you you can't do that like you are you are having struggle to be single like uh, like for some i'm getting here that when it comes to family or a partner you feel comfortable with them uh, sharing things with them and stuff like that but once you are separated from this person you it becomes hard for you to be alone and it becomes hard for you to sustain yourself that is why i think you need to have very strong finances which we were getting in the previous spread now your advice is that rise above everything and pray i'm also getting that you need to pray and you need to believe in yourself you need to have faith you need to have that vision and you need to be able to push that vision forward i'm again getting you need you need some help from a pisces pisian person or you need an inspiration which will come from a pisian person uh, or a fire sign 
so look for inspiration is what i'm getting here you have certain ideas and you need to take this idea and put it into action don't let your mind uh, divert you don't uh, don't be pulled uh, in one direction and then in the other the other direction which happens a lot with the Pis pisces so don't do that you need to also retreat like take a step back and analyze everything and then uh, do something w look at a thing from a various perspective uh, you will also have to make a sacrifice of some sort before you can uh, uh, achieve what you want and i'm also getting here that uh, in the month of june uh, you will get support from people you will get acknowledgement you will celebrate something you will be recognized you will also get promoted some of you or you will just start something new you will be um, appreciated for your work you will be recognized for your work i will look into your blockage so what are the blockages coming in for the sign of cancer sun moon rising for the month of june 2018 three cards what are the blockages for uh, cancer renewal so your blockage is that you are not able to start afresh or you are not able to uh, end something from the past uh, because you don't realize yet that you have to have a new start you don't realize that you need to have a new beginning so you are blocking yourself from a new beginning is what i am getting here some of you rejection so some of you are either afraid of rejection or you have been rejected and you are taking it very you are taking that rejection very harshly like you are taking it to your heart you should not there there are people probably criticizing some of you and you are taking the criticism to heart please don't do that uh, treat a criticism very like in a constructive way and leave the things that are not serving you don't let it bring you down another uh, lockage for you is expansion so some of you are planning to start something or uh, step like add something to your skills or you are wanting to expand like as a person or as a like you want to go for higher studies or build on your skills but you are finding it difficult because you don't trust yourself or you are not able to make that choice or you don't have money or something like that but i think you need to change your uh, you need to change uh, the way you think about all of this uh, if it's necessary for you then go definitely go for it don't stop yourself don't let anybody else stop you from uh, pursuing the things that you want to pursue or your heart wishes uh, to pursue completion so completion like i said some of you are not able to let go of something that has already ended uh, so that is why you are being blocked uh, your energies are being blocked give me one advice card for the sign of cancer for the uh, june uh, messages for june cancer june messages one advice heaven sent so you need to trust the divine and uh, y this message for you was heaven sent is what i'm getting and i'm also getting that you need to understand that you yourself are heaven sent on this earth you have a purpose you definitely have a gift so find out what that thing is and uh, share it with the rest of the world focus like close your eyes and focus on that one particular thing that talk calls to you that you want to really really pursue that you really want to contribute to the world visions of life beyond death some of you are very wise very very wise people uh, so you know something uh, even like you have some uh, gifts from the past life as well so that is coming up uh, so figure out what those things are and uh, start putting your work and effort Uh, because then uh, you will able to sustain yourself your family and as well as the society that you are living in so that was your message uh, cancer i hope you enjoyed i'll see you again uh, for the july videos bye bye